Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I want to talk about this whole Chris Brown drama that's going on all over social media. So if you guys don't know, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, and Jordan Lucas, they dropped a new song, um, and it's going to be featured on Chris Brown's new album, Indigo. And there's a lyric that's causing a lot of controversy. Basically, Chris Brown is saying that he only wants to fuck black bitches with good hair, okay? Y'all go ahead and listen to this snippet, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Man, I'm looking all on that pussy, put it right there. Only want to fuck the black bitches with the nice hair. Baby, bend it over, ass up, take the mask off. Don't ask me if I'm throwing cash up, spend it that part. All right, so you guys just heard that snippet. And of course, you know, black Twitter went crazy. A lot of black Chris Breezy fans were really upset by the situation. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the tweets, the comments, and what folks had to say. Y'all. I'll go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw what people were saying on social media. So now, as of today, Chris Brown is clapping back. He's responding to the backlash, and basically he's dismissing it as it's just a bunch of ugly-ass bitches who are in their damn feelings, okay? Go ahead and check this out. So somebody named Good Vibe says, It's some concern about Chris Brown's song called Need a Stack on his latest album. In the, in the song featuring Jorna Lucas and Lil Wayne, Chris Brown's third voice says, only want to fuck black bitches with nice hair. 
Many people are angry about this line and asking what exactly is good hair and why does Chris Brown not uplift black women and talk about them in a more positive light. Hashtag Chris Brown, hashtag I need a stack, hashtag black women, hashtag uplift more. Chris Brown jumps in the comments and this is what he said. He says, y'all tripping, tripping. Y'all bitches don't want to fuck the nigga with the fucked up teeth, do you? Only bitches upset is uglies, not black queens. Heart emoji and laughing face. Okay, challenge. For all the angry uglies that's mad at what I said, post a picture of what you look like. Please, I'm begging you, so we can end this shit once and for all. Uh. Ooh, y'all ain't sending no pictures in. Ooh. Feel dumb, don't you? Exactly. I'ma be rich, stay rich, and happy. Honey. I mean, are y'all surprised? People love getting in their feelings. Are y'all surprised by anything that comes out of some of these black male celebrities' mouths? You know, my thing is this. When people show you their true colors, believe them. Okay, Chris Brown does not date women unless they look a certain way. He definitely has a certain type. He was with Karuchi for a long time. Um, his new girlfriend looks like Karuchi. His baby's mother, Nia Guzman. She does not have kinky textured hair. The last black woman that he dated was Rihanna. And since then, he hasn't dated a full black woman since, okay? So I'm not shocked by him saying that. But does it make it right? No, it doesn't. I thought that that line was kind of tacky. And what does he mean by nice hair? Obviously, he means, you know, straight hair, quote unquote, what they call good hair, you know, curly hair. You can run a brush through it, stuff like that. He's not talking about your regular average kinky hair. But my thing is why when it comes to black women, why does the hair thing even have to be brought up? He could have just said he wants to fuck a bad bitch. Why does she have to have nice hair? You know, and the fact that he's trying to compare it to teeth is kind of insulting because he knows that hair in the black community causes a lot of conflict, it causes a lot of drama. And a lot of people get really emotional behind it because of like childhood traumas and what they went through and the whole good hair versus bad hair thing. You can't compare that to teeth, okay? It's definitely something that's ingrained in the black community and that's definitely a sensitive topic to a lot of people, a lot of women. Now I learned a long time ago, when I see artists that don't ride with me or women who look like me, or, you know, they try and throw digs and throw shade at women, you know what I'm saying, who are darker skinned and may have, you know, more natural hair or more, you know, natural features that are not racially ambiguous, then what I do, I speak with my dollars. I'm not about to be online crying, tattoo tears, and, you know, stalking Chris Brown and cussing him out. I just don't support. Just like I remember when he dropped that song with Remy Ma called Melanin Magic, and a lot of people wanted me to do a video on it. How do you think about this? You should love it. You're a dark-skinned girl. You should talk about it. And if you guys notice, I never talked about the song because I thought it was bullshit. Not towards Remy Ma. I love Remy Ma's verse. I like the video concept. You know, Juju was in there. A lot of pretty brown-skinned girls were in there. But I didn't agree necessarily with Chris Brown singing the hook. Because whenever I ever seen Chris Brown with a dark-skinned woman, he doesn't date dark-skinned women, but yet he's singing about melon and magic. You know, so I never bought the song. I never got into the song. I wasn't feeling it. I damn sure wasn't going to waste my time doing a video on the song. Because for me, it has to make sense. going to jump on this whole melanin you know because now it's cool to talk about dark skin cool to talk about it cool to talk about melanin cool to talk about being more conscious but then if you don't practice that and that's not who I see you with and I'm not saying he has to date or be with somebody who looks like that you're free to date who you want to date and you're attracted to who you're attracted to but I also can't take you serious when I've never seen you with a melanated woman ever most of the women he dates are very racially ambiguous. You don't really know what they are. They tend to have Asian ancestry and things like that. So I, I'm not going to sit there and support a song that's melanin magic 
with Chris Brown. So I just didn't support it because of that reason. So I'm not surprised that he would have that lyric in the song. You know, he's always kind of come off as kind of colorist and, you know, into a certain type. But again, it is what it is. He's free to do him. The only thing you can control is you. So you just have to decide if you're going to support his album, if you're going to support, you know, his single. And if you're not going to support it because of that line, then do you. And if you are going to support it, do you as well. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Chris Brown and the line in his new song, I Need a Stack. Were you offended by the line? Do you feel like people are reaching? And then how do you feel about his response? Because I thought his response was definitely unnecessary. And to say that the only people complaining are ugly women, I think that that's sad. Because I saw a lot of people complaining who were not ugly who were offended by that as well. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.